Can we start, sir? Yes, yes. Go ahead. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, students. Good afternoon, sir. How are you, all of you? Fine, sir. Do you know what text we studied last time? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What is it? The bond of love. Huh? The bond of love. The bond of love. Very good. So we studied the previous time. The bond of love. Okay. Very good. You know, there was one thing in the bond of love. At last we discussed. Okay. And it was about shooting a sloth bear. So should we shoot the animals? No, sir. Should we shoot the animals? No, sir. No. You say no. No. But I would say yes. Are you surprised? Yes, sir. Shoot the animals with camera, not with gun. Understood? Yes, yes sir. sir. So what animals usually, you know, we shoot? What animals? The animals that we find are dangerous for humankind. Isn't it? Yes. They are only, mostly, are hunted and are killed by most of the people. Isn't it? Yes, sir. So what animals are there? Like tiger is hunted. Yes. Then comes lion, especially wild animals. Isn't it? Yes, sir. So if you come across a snake, what would you do? If you come across a snake, what would you do? See, this is the snake. Can you say? Yes, yes sir. sir. Can you draw a snake? Please, yes. someone draw a snake for me. This is a snake. This is just a cube actually, but this is called as snake cube. So to show you, I have brought it. Then um, I appreciate someone has you know made this kind of snake. Can you see? So this, if this is a real snake, what would you do? Huh? What will you prefer to do? You will shout, so snake, 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 will you not say so? Yes, sir. And there will be a situation like stampede, snake. You will not remember that a teacher is there, or the class is going on, the inspection is going on. You will forget everything. But the only thing you will do is to get up and move out of your place. Isn't it? Yes. Am I wrong? Yes, sir. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. But is that right to have that much of fear for a snake? No, sir. See how wonderfully he has drawn a snake. Good, very good. Please clap for him. Thank you. Keep it with you, one snake. And one for you. So dear students, today we are going to study the poem about a snake. Would you like to learn? Yes, sir. More things about snake. Which one are the poisonous? Which one are non-poisonous? What are their names? Should we kill them or not? You know, there was a poem on killing a tree. In that poem, the poet told us about the process of the killing a tree. Yes. But does it mean that we should kill a tree? No. So what would you guess? If a poet here tells us to kill a tree, does it mean actually that we should kill a tree? No. So let's see and understand it better with the help of a PPT. I hope it is visible to you all. Yes. Yeah. Is it? It is not? Yeah. I think by mistake we use the other one. 
Anyway. So this is a chart about the snakes. Can you see it? The names. See, adder snake, copper head, king cobra, mamba, rattlesnake, coral snake, speaking cobra, rat snake, you know, tree viper, sand bow, sea snake, wine snake, crate, corn snake, milk snake. So many snakes are there. But do you think they all are poisonous? No, no sir. They are not. You know, these snakes are actually very useful and helpful to the farmers. Like in the field, if there is a crop like which, you know, the rats are in so large number that they eat up everything and leave nothing for the farmers. And when something is left in that also, that farmer takes away the that remaining grains and there also the rats are there to trouble the farmers and eat up the grains. So this way, rats trouble the farmers many ways. But can you guess what if there are the snakes in the farms? Can there be a more number of rats there? No, sir. You know the life cycle and balance of the nature. You know? So if there are snakes, there would be less number of the rats or the mice. Isn't it? And that way it can help the farmers. So the snake is not always troublesome or fearful for all of us. The only thing is to change our understanding about the snake. You know, we have always found the snake as a fearsome. Snake? Oh, Bapri. Oh, God. I'm scared. I saw a snake. If, if somebody is home, there is a snake, they will all come out. Running helter and skelter. As if an earthquake has occurred. It's just because of the fear. You know, but here, dear students, I would again show you some more kinds of snakes and their identification. Like the upper one, you can see they are non venomous snakes. Can you see? Yes. Sir. These are not venomous, they are not poisonous. So, if, even if it happens accidentally that they bite you, nothing wrong will happen. Have you heard a recent news that one famous hero, the actor, was bitten by a snake? You know who? Salman Khan. Yes. But was that snake? A poisonous one? No. no. So nothing went wrong with him. You know? And was that snake killed? No, he wasn't because the people there were from the rural area and those people especially, those who have understood the importance of snake, they never dare to kill a snake, but they rather protect them. And that's what they did. And the person was not also at all in danger, Salman Khan, wasn't he? He was not at all in danger. So these are the four snakes you can see. They are poisonous ones. Can you name them some poisonous snakes in Marathi also if it is? Black Mamba. There are four bigs they are called as. Four bigs. You know, they are the only snakes in India. They are poisonous ones. You know? King Cobra. King cobra. Yes, King Cobra. Then? In India. In India. King Cobra, then Saw, Scale, Viper, then Russell, Viper, and then one more is there, Common, Great. Then Marathi names are Gonas, Furse, Manya, and Nag. If you hear this sound, you are scared. Are you not? Yes, yes sir. sir. But once we understand them, you will not be afraid of them. Rather, you will start loving these snakes. Okay? We, the Indians, you know, have the culture, you know, to respect the animals. On the occasion of Pola, you know, or Bendur, we worship the blocks. Even there is one festival, can you name it, in which the snakes are worshipped. <laughs> Let me tell you, you know, uh, there is one Tahsil in Sangli district, Maharashtra. It is Bhakti Shirala. You know, every year, a uh, few years ago, there was a gathering of the people on that occasion of Nagpanchimi. Each house had at least one snake, cobra, kind of snake, very poisonous one. 
but those people are very used to the snakes you know they love it they worship it but accidentally you know the people who are coming from the other areas and those who do not love you know this animal snake they would just uh, take the photographs with them and handle them very uh, badly in a wrong way and so number of snakes would die and finally the court took the decision and banned that festival not continuing even the bullock carts game was also banned but recently with some conditions the government or the judiciary has uh, granted a permission for that you know we will discuss all these things but i can understand your curiosity to know what the poet has given here about the snake so who will tell me the name of the poet poem now can anyone yes sir yes sir what is it the snake crying the snake crying very good do you think this title is meaningful and complete grammatically what do you say is this title meaningful and complete the snake crying for example i teaching i speaking you learning are these sentences meaningful and complete grammatically yes, sir. when are the sentences complete when they have subject verb and object. object but here do you think the snake and crying what is the snake subject okay. and crying verb either something is missing or this is complete what do you say object object, object, is, missing. object is missing but besides it needs auxiliary verb sometimes especially when there is a continuous tense what do we need in present continuous am is or are so what would you use here is 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 correct because the snake is singular am is used only with i i and are is used with plural plural all right so i can understand your curiosity i will not take much of your time uh, so let's start the poem with the audio that i'm going to play here you listen to it carefully at the same time you read it and then i'll ask any one of you to read the poem loudly all right yes sir are you all ready then may i play yes, yes sir. sir very good With sudden curvings of thin, long body. First answer is done. All right, very good. Let's understand the first answer. Then I'll ask somebody to read the next. Thank you. The snake trying to escape the pursuing stick with sudden curvings of thin, long body. How beautiful and graceful are his shapes! He glides through the water away from the stroke. Here, can you understand? A person with a stick is running after the. 
that is described. So here, do you think pursuing stick, the stick itself is moving? No. 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 The pursuing is about a person, but it has referred to the stick. You know, this kind of sentence, when an adjective describes the other noun than the one it actually describes, that is called as transfer epithet. For example, sleepless night. Actually, night does not sleep, or the person, the people do not sleep at night. And then they are called as sleepless nights. You know? So that is an example here. We can understand of transfer epithet. The snake trying to escape the pursuing street. And when somebody with a stick is running after the snake and is trying to bait it, the snake is scared. We actually generalists are scared, but there, out of that fear, we dare to kill the snake because we are afraid that the same snake may one day bite us and will kill. This is these are the kinds of some myths among the people that they think if you do not kill the snake, it will one day come and bite you and you will die. Is this is this the truth? No, Scientifically, sir. do you believe, dear students? No, no, sir. No, it's not actually true. We know that the snake does not have even the ears. Understanding, the snakes do not have yes. the ears, but then still they can feel and understand how vibrations. by vibrations. So, do you remember any such example that we have studied in the same text, in the same book, where somebody listened but could not hear? Yes. She had the disability, but still she could listen. What she? Absolutely. Absolutely right. You studied it in the sound of music. Evelyn? Yeah. Here, a person with a stick is running after and is trying to kill the snake. If somebody is trying to kill you, will you just stand and say, please come here and kill me? No. Will you not try to escape from the person who is yes. going to kill you? The same way the snake is also running. Generally, this is what happens. The snakes do not come to you and buy it. But you people go there and disturb them and then to protect and defend, they had to bite you. This is what generally happens. Many people will find, you know, they will go in search of the snakes and find here or there, then they will trouble and will try to catch them. And then it happens accidentally just to protect themselves. The snakes have to bite. Okay. And we blame the snakes. But who are actually the guilty? Whose guilt is there? Whose fault is there? Snakes or the people's? It's, it's our fault, right? With sudden curvings of thin long body, and you know that sm small thin body of the snake has been described moving this way. I'll show you the snake, actual snake I have brought from biology lab. Is it real, sir? Yes, real snake, preserved in the biology lab. Can you see how the body is thin, how beautiful it looks, and we are unnecessarily scared. But it doesn't mean that you take the snake and keep it as a pet. No, we have to take care. For example, the fire. Is the fire harmful or useful? What do you say? If it is under control and is used for good purpose, it is useful. Yes. But if you use it for burning, then burning somebody's house or something you are putting on fire, then it is a misuse. What do you say? Yes. Similarly, if the snake, let them live freely in their places. Don't go and disturb them. They will not come to bite you and they will do their work biting the rats, mice from the farms and they will keep your farms and the area well and you will be protected from the unnecessary uh, you know these kinds of lizards you know got it with sudden curvings of thin long body how it looks you know how beautiful and grace are his shapes the poet has used here imagery when I say how beautiful and graceful are his shapes, don't you remember his body, imagination, those image of his snakes? Yes. Okay. I will show that to you again so that you will keep watch on. Okay. Then he glides through the water away from the stroke and as the person just falling with a stick but finally trying to hit it, he is trying to hit the snake. Then very faster and faster the snake moves 
and finally goes into the water. Because at any cost, he wants to escape himself from the person with a stake. And you know, when your soul, your, when your life is in danger, you do your things best. Means when it is a time that you do or die, then only you dare to do rather than dying. What, what do you say? Yeah. For example, just imagine uh, you are simply walking, you know, and some, you know, have that sense uh, just to trouble the dogs sitting in the street. And you threw a stone towards the dog. You expected that the dog should run away from there. But if in case it happens, the dog starts barking at you and it's moving towards you. What would you do? You will use your full energy and run faster and faster and the fastest. So that the dog should not die. Isn't it? Same way, here the snake being victim is scared and knew if it doesn't run faster, the stick will kill him. A man with a stick will definitely kill him. And so finally the, the snake went into the water. Then what happens? He glides through the water away from the stroke. Oh, let him go over the water into the reeds to hide without hurt. Who is saying? The person with a stick is saying that, oh, let that snake go. No, he is not kind enough to do so. But the poet has felt, you know, that pity on the snake. And so he requests that person with a stick who is trying to kill a snake, that please let him go over the water into the reeds to hide without hurt. Or he prays God, or please save him. There is no fault of the snake, but this man unnecessarily hitting, you know, the snake and is trying to kill. So he prayed. How? Oh, let him go over the water into the reeds to hide without hurt. Small and green, he is harmless even to children. And he said, there is no fault of the snakes. It is green in color. And such snakes are not at all harmful. They are not poisonous. You can see the tree viper kind of snake. You know, that kind of snake it is. Okay, are you able to say it? Yes. yes, sir. Then, along the sand, he lay until observed and chased away. So, we are told here what happened at last, you know, like some movies you might have watched, they begin with their end. You know, those movies they begin with their end, like Bahubali 1 should have been actually Bahubali 2. Isn't it? Yes, sir. But they release firstly Bahubali 1. Right? And created the suspense among the people so that they could watch the next one. Same way here, we are told what happened that the person with a stake is trying to kill a snake. But what happened before that? How it happened that the person saw a snake and is trying to kill? Do you want to know? So he lay until observed and chased away along the sand. So he was early in the morning, you know, or just lying on the sand near the river, on the bank of the river. And was simply with, you know, that warm sunlight, he was enjoying, like you enjoy your morning beauty or whenever especially there is a Sunday, you feel very relaxed. Then you come on the ground and sit in the sunlight, so that you feel warm, right? Similarly, as if it was a holiday for the snake and he was enjoying, you know. So if I say the snake had a holiday, if I address the snake as he, what figure of speech I'm using? Do we use he for animals? No. no. Then what pronoun do we use? He. 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 But here it is used he. Then what is a, a figure of speech? Can anyone tell? Renuka? Shivam? Okay. Personification. Personification. When the qualities of human are transferred or are, are shown to the qualities of the other non-living things. For example, the board started speaking, your bencher started speaking, or the book once told me his story. Can the book speak? 
that is our quality of human quality but has been mentioned here as a it is a quality of the book so that is personification so in this poem this personification is also a figure of speech so he lay until observed and chased away along the sand and now he vanishes in the ripples among the green slim reeds you know firstly before the person saw him he was simply relaxed and was enjoying his life but when that snake was seen by a person then the person found a stick and was running after it chasing him following him so that he could kill the snake but finally fortunately even when the poet prayed what was the result the snake could escape by going into the green slim reeds so here what are reeds reeds are water or marsh plants with thick stems you know those plants bushes like plants or similar kind of shrubs in the water they are called as reeds and finally there it went and vanished disappeared and was escaped was it good that he could escape yes sir what would you have done if you were there would you have waited let him come and i will kill it because you have heard that the snake will come one day and will bite you you might have heard that myth but would you believe it no sir but i'm sure the most important thing that if you see a snake you will not trouble at all you will not find a stick and uh, follow it to kill it right yes sir Uh, there are the questions but before that i want to show you the summary of the poem would you like to watch yes sir here it is yes yes Then she was in the waters, and with great slow wings, 
Thank you so much, uh, uh, Ganesh ji. Uh, can you hear me? Am I audible? Am I audible? Can you hear me? Am I audible? Yes, sir. We are able to hear. Uh, yeah, Ganesh ji, uh, my congratulations to you. Very wonderful learning. Entertaining class. It's a smart teacher, smart students, and smart class. Thank you so much, sir. Smart teacher, smart students, and smart class. A wonderful class. Very entertaining. And uh, I really enjoyed your class. I enjoyed the whole class and uh, you know the way in which uh, students are also enjoying. Very attentive and participating and uh, the uh, end of the snake song. Is, is, yes. uh, I, 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 would, uh, I would enjoy them even dancing to the song. And teacher is very entertaining and uh, extremely uh, good class. Uh, teacher makes a difference. And uh, uh, that is what I would say. You have made a difference in the class, and the children are very, very lucky enough to have a teacher like you to have a very entertaining, very joyful language class. It is not just the poem that is alone important, but then uh, you know the rhyme, rhythm, you know enjoying the poem is very, very important. Of course, uh, you also uh, you know left with a message that live, let live. And uh, yes, very good sir. message, and uh, I think a lovely children to have a wonderful teacher like you, uh, to have a wonderful, uh, you know, entertaining, uh, lovely, joyful moment of 30, 40 minutes of uh, interaction of uh, English class with a small poem. But then the way in which uh, the teacher can make a difference is made in the classroom. Wish you all the best. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much, sir.